this morning I showed my mom a bunch of the Civil War memes. <laughs> she laughed at a few of them. Especially the one where Captain America's like, oh, so you know every time I have sex with a bald eagle's horn and... Oh my god. Johnny Depp is like, oh, so that's why they are endangered? Before you said um, Captain America, I was like, the Civil War. The, one the movie. The have we moved on? No. Have, has, so, have memes? Have memes evolved? Well, they have. Have you forever brought your blog post Captain America Civil War memes? I, I like that. I love how Robert Downey Jr.'s retweeted some of them, and he's like, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Now, that man is precious. I think they, she also really liked it, the one where Captain America was looking at Tony's like, oh... The Sherlock, Sherlock actor is a better Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. yeah. And so he's just like. <laughs> I think there was that. There was like another one, kind of like a Phantom War one that started. I don't remember what it was. I remember there was that whole afterwards the Age of Ultron one where Tony and Cap were arguing over who they want Natasha to end up with, and she's like, whoever yeah. I want, <laughs> if there is somebody. And then Josh Green's like, How about Natasha. And Bruce Banner, yeah. and then everybody's just like. That made me upset. Yeah, I it mean, really like. Really did because I was I usually I'm like yeah, I like if something weird it. if something weird coupley happens I'm like yeah this is awesome this is so cool but I, I can't stand it. I, I don't like it. But at it's all. definitely they tease us in trailers all the time. It's yeah. not actually gonna happen. Josh Whedon is totally into tricking people. See the thing with like Natasha and she Bruce, kisses people like, because it's strategic. To me, like they're yeah. bros. Yeah. yeah. And I feel yeah. like all the Avengers. They're more bros hyperplatonic than yeah. I don't think anything romantic could happen yeah. between yeah. any like, of them. I have like you my fandom that. fan fiction pairings, so I'm just like it's fandom Wait, one yeah, universe, like, like they are bros. Yeah, yeah that's, there, there is like, a wall. If here. you were actually gonna go down and be like, oh, who would I want to be with who? Like that wouldn't. There are some things you know. that I really enjoy, and I read fan fiction of everything. But sometimes I only enjoy it in fan fiction, and I wouldn't mm. enjoy it in the actual real thing. When you ship something, you're not saying, like, I want this to happen in the actual thing. You're just saying, I like, I like this sometimes. What's the Robert Hull? Well, we came here for fun and scrim war. She's not like, take her underwear. Panty rape. <laughs> you're gonna pay. There it is, there it is. Boobs of possession. All done. You got it, boys. You did it. <laughs> Morgan, we panty raided your mom's house. Did you at least remember the Grimoire? Um, no, I think they're enchanted. <laughs> like, enchanting underwear would be more spank, so you would never need more than that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That would be amazing. It's like, how much money do you have to waste? Okay, so like, oh, underwear? <laughs> A world where like Morgan and Alistair are, like getting it on and like Alistair takes his pants off and he has spun this underwear on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sorry, what am I thinking? And Morgan's just like, no, we'll jump for the night, you just killed the mood. <laughs> She's be like, you <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, it's the night just ends there. She just gets up from the bed. It's like, I'm. I'm if they out. have separate pages, she's like, I'm going home. Fine, why do you have my mother's underwear on? on? That would be the yeah. worst thing out of her mouth. She what? She called him moron. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. It, would just be, it wouldn't be anger. It would just be like, like that, like, exasperated, <laughs> really. And, like, Alistair really. would just be kind of, like, dumbfounded, like, but they're nice. <laughs> 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 so stupid. I'm so sorry. No, it's Don't funny. Be... Don't be sorry, Brittany. I forgot the grimoire. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Morgan, do the retaliation. Who are Alistair's relatives? Some dead person, right? Especially Some dead person and his sister. Ah, uh, she can do anything with his sister. That's Wait, did the king guy? Not the king guy. Who's the dude that was strung up like a, like a cross? That was Caden, his half brother. Yeah. All right, all right. So she can like go to Caleb and take and defile his body Caden's or underwear. something. No, just take and then, we don't need the file body. Because yeah. she thinks she's getting back in it, but then Alistair just starts crying. I love that stuff. I don't like Morgan and Alistair, but for the sake of jokes, I'll be into it. I'm so into, like, I love when pranks go horribly wrong, and the other party just ends up, like, it accidentally goes too far, because they don't know it's going to go too far. 
It's like, I hate the ones where, like, it's obvious it's going to go wrong. Oh my gosh, yeah. today, I, I, was, I was watching, I think it was ABC, and they had a commercial for a new prank show called Freaked Out. And I told, uh, I told everyone about it. Because prank shows, I, I kind of like them. Yeah. But here's the prank they showed in the commercial. So, uh, a waiting room, some kind of doctor's office or dentist's office or something. And this, uh, the, the person being pranked sitting in the waiting room with like four other people in there. Quiet, imagine the doctor's office. So all of a sudden out of the vent comes pouring this like uh, white exhaust, you know? Kind of like shh, like gas. Mm -hmm. And then... The four other people in the waiting room with this person are actors. They start coughing and sputtering and like pretending to pass out and like choke on the white stuff coming out of the, the vent, like it's poison. And that's the prank. How is and that a prank? They're just flipping out because they're you're tricking them into thinking that there's poison being poured into this guy in this room. That freaks me out. Like that would freak me out a lot. I don't like that. Yeah, that's not... So, boy, like, you're pretending, like, you know, color gas is pouring into this room. Everyone around you is, like, sputtering and dying. It's like, well, it's not a prank. That's, yeah. that's someone's worst, most deepest fear yeah. of life. Like, no. like that, uh, I thought that story was a video. It got really popular. I don't know if it got popular. But, uh, this kid, like, told his roommate, like, he, uh, he trusted them. And he told them that his deepest, most awful fear is being buried alive and he said that it haunts him and he thinks about it like all the time and it really freaks him out so uh, obviously his sleep. roommates go and bury him alive no no no, no. Uh, he fell asleep on a couch or something so they picked, up his, they picked him up and they moved him onto the dining room table and they put a box on top yeah. of him and when he woke up he thought he had been buried alive yeah, I, think I, like, I mean, naturally. And then people get like so like defensive you. Yeah. when you like, call them out people, on like, it. Who are pulling the prank? They get so like mad, like, like why are you like why are you so upset? Like, no, you have to. Yeah. Like, 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 like if you would done that prank to any like any random human, it'd be kind of fine. But because your friend told you this was what they were most afraid of, I was that your natural then reaction. You did it. I think we can afford to bring Zebrin. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I know. Antonio Banderas, a little on the side. That's probably Zemmer's reaction. Yeah. What? It's like, oh, no, like I wonder if... Finally, sound like that's probably Zemmer's reaction. <laughs> My own favorite one, even. Yeah. No, I wonder if Zemmer... Zephyr... That's something special. Yeah. No, yeah. I wonder if Zemmer would approach for grab. I was like, so... It's like, I'm an assassin. <laughs> Dear, is there any reason you haven't brought me into the field with you? It's like... No, no, I don't want you getting hurt. I'm an assassin, honey. Yeah, it's like, oh. I know how to take it's care like, of I'm myself. It's like, I'm waiting for the right moment. Do you think I'm not worthy enough? Oh, no, 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 no. It's I not just that. don't want you to get See, hurt. See, that's what I need. Like, domestic spats, like, right in the middle of battle. That's yes. so yeah. cute. Look at all these spots we can go and grow in. Look at the trail of blood we leave behind. Of course, that's we kill just, stuff. That's just us killing everyone. Like, right? where's your great? Oh, just follow a trail of blood. <laughs> but... And look for the freshest trail of blood. Freshest trail of blood, the bodies are that are least decomposed. God. Video game water makes me so thirsty. I'll stick my face down there and I'll rip my face off drinking it. Come on, where's the I set myself to go to the castle? I was gonna say too, go get that water and it's kill you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we gotta walk all the way back. No, we we'll don't have to walk all the way back since I then goofed. Yeah. Where's that from again? I don't know. The South. No, 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 the mean. She was older. It was one of those. Ooh, it. When I classify as news memes, memes of like they get on the like, like hit memes. Yeah. No. Like in Dante level. Look at the bar fight. We need the stereotypical. Bar fight. Brett doesn't get into bar fights unless it's absolutely necessary. He's too good no way, if we wanted a bar fight, we need to bring Aubrey. He doesn't get into bar fights. Yeah, Aubrey, Aubrey, the only reason Regret would get into a bar fight is because Aubrey is getting into one, and Regret has to back up his friends. He wouldn't yeah. want to do it, but he would be like, oh. All right, Aubrey, I'll bust some heads for you. That's it. Regret doesn't get into bar fights. Hey, Alistair, why I help Aubrey? Oh, Alistair is already passed out. Humans, they can't hold their alcohol. Okay, if he was awake, he'd get it on a flight, though. He'd be in the 
He be like drunk, like sweetie. They, okay, yeah. let's be real. Every single one of our party so members is He's too drunk to fight. It's completely the time to one hang out in a bar and two fight. Two fight. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'll swear. I can't Calm think down, of one party member. Home. Like, go to sleep. We have who has been at least one petty bar fight. Even like Min and Shale. His payment. You've helped out a great deal. Even Kim Gang. Stens seems like the type he'd be minding his own business. Somebody would come up looking for crap. Yeah. He'd be the one sitting at the table drinking. A person goes flying onto the table. He just continues like this. Yeah, it's like I don't want to get into this, but like Morgan would, because she likes to mess with people. Stan would be... just thinks it's fun, and he'd be like laughing and fighting people. Yeah. I feel like he'd be really into that. Uh, just sitting there for like, oh, oh, no. Alistair's just your, like, your frat bro. Oh, no. Kimmy, you said. Okay, you know that post that's like, what's wrong with you, bro? Uh, uh, you know, something, what was that thing? Uh, so-and-so wore that purple cashmere sweater today, and they went on a limb. You know, it's not usually their color. They try <laughs> to make a bad comment about it. You know, like, that's what Alistair gets excited about. Like, made a bad comment about... You know, this one guy, and he wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just doing something a little, a little daring for himself. He knew it will ruin it. Hmm. Yeah, I could definitely see Stan being the guy who just sits at the bar. Somebody goes flying over. He continues to drink. They get yeah. up. They punch him, and he's like, I would advise against that. Punch him again. Then Stan puts his drink down and breaks an empty bottle over their head, and then gets back to his strength. Very thorough. And he's like, yeah. I advise him against it. Shale would flip out over the tiniest thing. And, like, just decimate. No, Shale would show up at the bar, somebody would make a side comment about her stones, and she'd just be like, alright. You want to see my stones? <laughs> yeah. You want to see my stones? And then she would, like, shoulder them and sing. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like a football player. Yes. Shale fights like a football player. Like a linebacker. That's that's what Who are we forgetting? I don't know Liliana that well. Um, she wouldn't drink. She'd be like, she would like start singing, and then everybody would be like, like weird out. Guys, funny guys, stop <laughs> yeah. it! I don't know anything about her. Other than that, she sang, and it was really ah, weird. Whoop.